All right, guys, welcome back. Now, of course, in this video right here, what we're going to be learning is how to import audio into an Audacity project. So let's go ahead and get started. There's actually a few different ways. Uh, the first way, of course, is by hitting Shift, uh, Command, or Control I. And that'll bring up this window right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, this right here. And as you can see, I label all my stuff really well uh, because there's, uh, I guess, some shortcomings in Audacity. Uh, you're not going to be able to see the BPM uh, quite easily unless you have a click track and there's a, a bunch of smaller things uh, like that. So having your or, your files organized before you bring them in is actually a really good idea. And also organizing any of the tracks that you actually record in Audacity is also a really good idea as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit open and it's going to bring it in. And there it is. This is audio and this is how it looks like in Audacity. Um, now this particular audio uh, that I uh, put in here is something that I made um, in Logic. And it's actually a cover of Pumped Up Kicks by uh, Foster to People. So let's go ahead and hit play and hear how that sounds. So we're all pretty familiar with the song. Uh, now let's go ahead and um, do, use the second option and bring in a file uh, or some audio into Audacity. Now the second way is by going to uh, the very top of the program right here where it says file and going to import and then audio. And there's also different you know inf information that you can bring in there but for this example we're going to go ahead and select audio. Uh, very cool. So now we're looking at uh, you know where we could find the audio so you can find it in different places uh, obviously in the hard drive or maybe uh, you know part of you know documents or downloads or just anywhere really on your computer you can pull it in and bring it into audacity in this case it's just on my desktop uh, so let's go ahead and select the file and I'll hit open and there it is uh, so the very final way, and I kind of find this as the simplest way, is uh, just dragging a file from your desktop onto uh, Audacity. And what's great about it is that you could just drag it in and it'll automatically create a new track and place that uh, piece of audio that you're dragging in into the very beginning of your arrangement. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to move this aside a little bit. And I'll just bring in any, actually, let's take a look at what I'm, I'll bring in this one right here. That's fine. And you can even throw it in there and it'll just create a track. So it doesn't really matter where you place it. And there it is. Let's go ahead and hit play and hear how it sounds. Okay, so we got a pretty simple idea how um, the quality sounds like in Audacity. Now there's of course a, a lot of different options that you can do uh, with the music or the, the audio once it's in there. Obviously if you want to go ahead and let's say uh, mute this track and only have the other two existing tracks play, you could do something like that. Or you could... Um, you know, obviously turn the volume up, turn the volume, I mean, up or down, uh, anything you want right there. You could even adjust the panning so you can have it to either the center, the left, the right, and um, that's uh, pretty self explanatory right there. If you want, you can start, you know, once you have audio in there, you can use these tools. So, for example, if I wanted to select a specific area and delete it, I could. So let's go ahead and do that. I select this area and I'm just going to hit delete and now it's gone. It's really that simple. Um, different options right here, like uh, this is the envelope right here. So if I want to to uh, raise or lower volume, I could do that right here as well. Pretty simple. I could take a closer look at the audio by using a magnifying glass. Let's go ahead and look at the entire arrangement by selecting this tool right here. So now we're back at at that. If I wanted to go ahead and move, let's say, this piece of audio somewhere else, I could also do that as well. 
and it's actually uh, you know pretty simple. Uh, you just use that tool. Okay, cool. And that's pretty much it. Now in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these effects right here. Hear how they sound, and uh, talk a little about a little bit about each effect. Uh, so of course I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.